Massive MIMO is seen as one of the key enabling technologies for 5G. Here in the Smart Internet Lab at the University of Bristol, we've taken a development system from National Instruments and we've deployed it here at Millennium Square, operating at 3.5 GHz in 20 MHz bandwidth. So the reason capacity is so important to the end users, the public who will use 5G, is that if you're in a football stadium or a cultural event, what we find today is that although you may have a signal on your mobile phone, there are no available channels for you to upload your, your video clips to YouTube or, or WhatsApp. So this massive MIMO technology is a big capacity multiplier. We have 128 antenna elements which are connected to 128 individual RF transceivers. These transceivers do the initial RFDM processing and then we concentrate all the data together so we can actually implement our spatial multiplexing. It's this spatial multiplexing which allows us to separate the individual RF streams coming from the users at the sporting event or at the cultural event. Here in the Smart Internet Lab, we are investigating the practicality of using massive MIMO on real world. So we did several indoor, outdoor and mobility trials and then we compared between the theoretical results and the results we obtained from this trial. And based on these results, we developed some algorithms in order to mitigate the difference between them to establish a reliable data transmission. We worked on power control algorithms, user regrouping, isoplastic calibration. So far, based on the results we obtained from several trials, we managed to get good results and reliable data transmission. As you can see here, this is a downlink video based on the massive MIMO technology. And we are currently running 12 downlink videos by using the same radio resources.